Hello brothers and sisters. This will be take number three. Something and everything is trying not to let me put this out. So I'm going to try again. Let's start over. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this dream you shared with me. I ask that the Holy Spirit gives everybody that's watching and listening. Let them know it's from you, God. Let these words speak to their to their heart the way it did to mine. Ask all of this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay. <laughs> Getting frustrated. I'm like an hour here. I'm trying to do this. Okay. Hi, guys. Good morning. <laughs> Let's start over with a nice cup of coffee. Okay. So I want you to visualize dark ages. Like, you know, um, I'll just get right into it. So I woke up at uh, 6.56. And I saw a small community on an island and they lived out in the wilderness and one family had all the riches and all the food and all the cattle of this area and the most servants and everybody knew their place in this community. Um, a rich ship came by one day and stopped by to visit. <clears throat> they were just bored. Once on the ground, they got bored and they told their servants to raid the encampment. They took all of the land and all of the food that could be seen by the by their eyes. They raped and pillaged all the servants, both male and female, until they arrived at one servant. And he was a male and he was very good looking. One of the chief noblemen asked the servant, Why don't you participate? And he said he he said he knew his place, and the nobleman asked him again to explain, like because he was asking him to go out and help in this raid. The servant explained that he didn't. it didn't matter what he wanted because he knew that since the time of Nemrod, one family had ruled everything. The rich nobleman was impressed. He asked him if he knew who this family was. The servant answered the Ors... I might be saying it wrong, but I'll put the spelling up. I wrote Orsellini family because I heard it in the middle of being very tired. The Orsellini family. And they had become the 13 strongest families in the world. The nobleman, the nobleman again was impressed that he knew this. This was a illiterate, can't read or write servant, but he knew this. In suggestion to the servant, to the front, in front of all the other noblemen, the other noblemen of the ship that were there, he made an offer of going to raid for his keep of the raiding. He declined. But not before the nobleman asked him again. Then he looked around and saw who the rich people were. For me, this was very interesting in the dream. So that raid happened and they were made up of all other servants of high classes. So the scene from the raid of this village switched to another scene. And this is when the servant was looking at, or, or maybe this was me seeing who those servants were that were participating. This was interesting. So I wrote, um, they were made up of other servants of higher classes, singers, athletes. Guess who I saw? I saw um, the lead singer of Genesis, Phil Collins, as one of them. I saw uh, a famous soccer player. I can't think of his name right now, but he was married to one of the Spice Girls. And I wrote, um, the man finally agreed to participate in the events. So these were celebrities, is what, he, what I was looking at. He did everything. He did everything asked of him up until it became sexually, the immorality of what was happening was offered to him. The nobleman offered him an elixir that made other ser made an elixir that all the other servants took. This el elixir gave the men and the women the desires of the unnatural to same-sex events. The noble the nobleman did this out of pure power and boredom. He favored his servant for a short while, and he gave him favor until he waved his will to be done his way. This was the, the bad nobleman. A time later, they were playing hockey <clears throat> and shooting on goalies. This was weird because it was, I just saw like a kind of a rink 
and I saw a lineup of goalies and the servants were one by one all going to take shots on this goalie. Uh, then his turn arrived and he was 100% corrupt. So that good servant, the more he did what was told of him of these corrupt people, it ended with him being corrupted. And that was the end of the dream. So I tried to go back to bed and the Holy Spirit's like, no, <laughs> pay attention to the time. So I always, when I first grab my phone, when I wake up from a dream, the first thing I do is I look at the time and then I look it up um, versus uh, Strong's Concordance. So I looked up 656 and it was Genesis 47, 15. And when money failed in the land of Egypt and in the land of Canaan, all the Egyptians came unto Joseph and said, Give us bread, for why should we die if in thy presence, for the money faileth? Doesn't that seem kind of interesting that that's what's happening in the world right now? So, I'm going to give the interpretation I believe that this is referring to, and I invite anybody to give their version of it. So for some of you who have read the Bible, you probably know this already. This is more for those who have not read the Bible or they can't understand the references. So in the first Old Testament books in the Torah, I mean, they talk about um, Joseph. I mean, he's, he's the youngest of the 12 sons, but he was, he was Isaac's favorite son. Remember? So when it says here, um, where did I write that? Joseph, in the beginning, was with his family, and he did whatever he was told, but he ended up in slavery in Egypt. So he went from no favor all the way to second in command. And that's the example of the old world. In the New Testament, Jesus came around, also a very loyal servant and also favored by everyone that knew him. And what happened to him? He went from being a nobody to now he's the son of God, he sits at his right side. So this dream was about what happens basically. Yeah, I guess it could be talking about these families and the corruption that happens in this world because the the, the Lord of this world is Satan, and he corrupts anything, anybody that wants anything, he gives them everything, in the end they end up corrupted, and they're not serving God, they're serving him. So I'm going to leave it at that, but this is the times we're living in now. Our governments are corrupted, and I'm not going to give my opinion on that. Just know, if you know your Bible, you know that we're living in the same times. So Nemrod was the first ruler of Babylon and here we are possibly at the fall of Babylon or the rise of the AC get it like it's all tied together the money's gonna fail they're gonna introduce a new system the whole world of rumors or wars are happening right now and they're all arguing about another currency digital mark of the beast whatever what do you guys think of all this I love you. Jesus wants you to know the times you're living in. End times. Share with who you have to share this with. These are the words of the Lord shared with me, and I share it with you. I love you. Jesus loves you more. Bye.